Okay, we're back to the 198 ish. 198 ish. Um, 99. 199. 199? Whatever it's there. I figured that out there. That's what day it is. Um, a little awkward because my video actually hasn't loaded yet, so instead, I'll have my little arm meat. Oh my god. Stop, stop. Stop. Why is it so loud? No, not male. It was turned down. I got back accidentally touching the touch screen to turn on them. Anyways, do you guys ever get this where you're trying to do something in this video and you're trying to do it, but you get distracted. And by distracted, I don't mean something important or one tiny thing. I'm talking, I got distracted because I'm like, oh, because I'm really, really allergen y today. I'm going to put on these headphones. But these headphones get hairy because they're um, on a table that's lower than the, the dogs um, that jumps on this chair. It gets really hairy and dusty. So I wipe them off, I wipe them off every time I use them, blah, blah, blah. But not enough to make them clean it up. It doesn't matter. So I'm like, oh, you know what I should do? I should go get a box for it all. So I go, I wipe everything off. And I just go and I get a box, wipe off the box, and then put everything in the box. Why? I didn't have to do that right now. But yeah, yet I did, you know? And the thing is, I see so many people being like, oh, ADHD mood. But the thing is, other neuro or other cool, like neurodivergent people, even if they don't have ADHD, a lot of symptoms overlap. Um, anxiety, bipolar, um, ADHD, um, autism, they can all overlap with different things. So part of me is like, oh my god, what if I have ADHD? But part of me is like, no dude, do you have other things I could explain? I'm like, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. So, anyways. So now I have a box, which is nice. But I didn't have to do it before doing this. Because right this, this right here, I like doing that when people are busy so they don't walk in and interrupt me so I don't have to do things. But instead I had to do a box. You know? I couldn't, you couldn't just stop, do this, get up and do that in a moment. No? How to do that now? Anyways. I might get my, my film my testosterone because I need to, um, I need to refill my testosterone so I can have it in a week and a few days. Is it a Saturday? It is. Hmm. 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 Not going to do that today. Feel bad, go and do it tomorrow. I'm gonna water all my plants tomorrow. Or at least check on them. Usually I don't water them all. Depends how wet they are. How moist, how dry. Anyways, point is, sometimes this weight feels really heavy. And sometimes it's really light. And I'm like, normally it's really light. But some days I'm like, oh wow, this is really tiring. And I thought I had to do with allergies, but now I just touched a bunch of allergies in my arm, like, ooh, 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 who cares? And it's not very heavy, but only like three pounds, is what I'm saying. That it's not heavy most of the time, but sometimes it really feels like I'm trying to, like, as much heavier. I shouldn't be doing that hand, though, because it, it, uh, it's tired. My wrist is tired, though. Anyway, the point is, I don't know 
what I'm doing. But I'm very fidgety. The thing is, it's just so light that it's like, I don't think about it. I just, I think I'm supposed to like, slowly bring it down. And slowly bring it up, you know? Because bring it down slowly, where it really breaks your muscles apart to make them stronger. So you put them shredded shred your muscles so they build strong but it's not heavy so I don't even know if it matters because if it doesn't matter who cares you know maybe after 20 minutes maybe halfway through I'll switch maybe I'm gonna have to readjust because the arm is in the, the arm rest is in the way that way. Anyways, point is, I'm very dirty. You know what I'm saying? Really boom, 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 boom. Um, only two minutes to halfway there anyways. Man, I don't know why I put this off so much. Like, I'll just do a box. Let's just do this, dude. Just do this. You can literally do the box when it's loading, uploading, re-uploading, triple uploading. Why can't I just do it from my phone anymore? God, YouTube, you're so annoying. It's like I could do that for a hundred days or something, 90 days, just directly from my phone. Why after that many, I have to switch it to being from my laptop, you know? Yeah, the person, my, uh, not my testosterone doctor, but my therapist doctor, to get me testosterone, you know how it goes. They're like, yeah, I got some weights, you know, really help with trans, um, guys starting testosterone to make the process easier. And I'm like, I don't think I'm a weights guy. Literally, the only time I use weights is if I want to use, like, want to use my, like, fidget cube. But I don't know where my fidget cube went. Where did that go? Usually it's right here. Uh, um, anyways, usually I use my fidget cube like when I'm reading um, because I love reading, but sometimes I really just need to fidget. Really just gotta do it. Um, so, cause I'm all very active. Like, so I wanna be active. But anyways, I'm not really a workout kind of guy. I'm going on a minute. Um, everyone's always like, oh, you want to slim down though? And I'm like, A, 99% of my actual width is just my boobs. So when I wear a sports bra and it shows where my rib cage actually is compared to where my boobs normally are, people are like, oh, wow, you're so skinny. Like, what happened? And I'm like, girl, it's called a sports bra. It's called my frame looks smaller because my rib cage is the frame and not my boobs. Anyways, point was that uh, that happened multiple times and I'm like, girl, I I'm not, no whatever. Point is, I'm not saying don't be healthy. You know, obviously working out has fantastic benefits, but when people ask me like, oh, you wanna slim down? And like, if I went to like the gym, they're like, oh, you want to slim down? I'm like, no, I want my back to stop hurting because my giant boobs. They're like, oh, are you here to like get, um, like, what's your goal weight? I'm like, nothing. Like, no, I don't have a goal weight. I don't have a goal percent of fat. Um, I have, want to be really strong and, um, I want to be really strong, or I just don't care. Here. I totally didn't just drop you guys. It's totally fine. Drop you guys and how to redo things. That's fine. 
like re start uh, uh, recording or anything, it's totally fine. But the point was that I wish that was better. Anyways, the point was that it was like really weird because like this one lady apparently she does that quite often, asking she's a small business owner around here quite often ask her plus size like her fat patrons like oh you wanna be skinny you wanna be skinny you wanna be skinny though and i'm like N no and that's when the people are like do you have a gold weight and i'm like no and then one time um my doctor was like oh you have a, a gold weight and i'm like no i don't have a gold weight um if i work out like when i went to the gym and stuff um it was not for gold weight, it was to become stronger, like physically, went to do a few classes and stuff. Anyways, the, the person didn't like us anymore because they were very Republican, and I'm a trans LGBT person. Well, trans LGBT, trans, um, I'm trans and not straight and everything. And they're like, Oh, mm. I'm like, Yeah. Cool. Anyways, point is, I went to, um, like, the gym and stuff, and my doctor was like, oh, okay, cool, and when I said, like, no, and they're like, well, what would you want to look like, and I think they were talking about, like, oh, I don't want to have hips, or I don't want to have stomach fat, and I said, like, oh, well, if I'm going to be strong, I'm going to be freaking strong, but I don't need to look like anyone in particular, I don't need to be like Superman, I would probably prefer looking like a giant lumberjack, but I'm way too short for that. So, so like physical muscle look is just never my thing. Even like, it just it isn't what I want to look like, and I don't care if someone else looks like that or not. Um, yeah. So people always just kind of assume that if you are a I think people assume everyone has a goal weight, which is really interesting to me because I never thought about it. I never thought, oh man, if I'm under blink amount of pounds, that's where I'd be good. And I think a lot of people bring it to unhealthy territories. I'm not saying everyone, but the people that ask me about it. It's like you're projecting your own emotions onto other people. Which, mm. um, anyways, point is, I'm not working out to lose weight. I would love to be, you know that one video where she goes, I do not want to be strong and look like I have a six pack or something. I want to be strong and look like I punch a bear in the woods or something like that. God, she is cool. Like fight a bear in the woods. Now that lady that lady is goals. She was a lady doing like, not push-ups, I think kind of push-ups, but like the, when you're planking and you pick up the weights off the ground, and oh man, she, she looks cool as hell, dude. Point is, um, that was pretty much it. But yeah, that happened multiple times where one time when I said, we were actually not eating a lot of food. Um, not a lot of food. Not a lot of certain food. Because it was back when my sibling first discovered that they were gluten intolerant and got super migraines because of it. And we, uh, we stopped having gluten. Meaning we stopped getting pizza or having pizza or pasta. Because at that point we didn't have any gluten free alternatives that we knew of. So we were eating a lot of, like, no bread no pasta, no pizza, no thick sauce, like sauces, um, a lot of things have gluten, a lot, so anyways, we were getting a lot of other kind of food, and just making kind of alternative food, um, then those, the typical, like, unhealthy foods, and, um, so this one person, I guess, maybe overheard, I'm hoping, and assumed we were doing that because of, like, losing weight. 
but at the same time I was wearing a bra that really essentially just strapped down my boobs to make me look flatter from the front but also instead of here's my boobs here's my rib cage and then like you know move back out with the hips my boobs got pushed in so it was kind of boobs and then so it was very much more my rib cage my actual frame and they were like oh my god you look so skinny you look, lost so much weight and i think he was really trying to compliment me it was such a weird thing because i'm like no i'm good and he's like no shouldn't you always compliment a woman's weight and i'm like no i can tell you this now don't don't i don't know maybe other people really do find that flattering but i never understood that i i don't understand that And that being said, I know uh, Ethan has a lot of body image issues with being, um, Ethan not being as strong as he used to be because, like, he used to literally do, like, professional g gymnastics and there, he's not there anymore. Um, so that's also different, like, that's something that you used to have that is just not really obtainable and sustainable in his current lifestyle um that also being said i think people don't realize like super muscles you have to work daily or near, near daily to keep those um which is also why i'm like nah i don't ever want to be like again like superman i don't need super muscles never never need those like i just it's not something I want in my life. I don't care enough for the look and the feeling. The feeling, yes. I want to keep these. Anyways. Point was. Um. Yeah, I remember trying to explain... And also remember when I first learned that they called it uh, like fat underbelly area. Um, some people call it different things, like women, um, especially, and they talk about it a lot being like, oh, this is horrible, um, you don't want to show this, you want to hide it, blah, blah, and, uh, I remember, I always, you know, you know, I remember, like, why does a divot from my pelvis being, like, skinny, and then getting a belly, and then to my belly button, why is it right there, and then it's like, because it's to literally protect your uterus, it's like, literally what people have, like, body-wise, and men have, like, different, they'll, they're fat a little differently, but, yeah, we have it, and, like, every, that's just how fat rolls on your stomach, how it rolls, um, but I remember telling our typically very skinny friend, and she's like, oh, why am I gaining weight right here, people think I'm pregnant, blah, blah, blah. and I'm like, girl, if you were pregnant, it would go from your uterus, not your stomach, A, B, yeah, that's normal. She goes, what do you mean it's normal? I'm like, do you not know what people look like? And I had to explain that to her. At least when I learned, it was like middle school. When she learned, she was like out of high school or nearly out of high school. No, she was out of high school. And I'm like, girl, do you not know what a stomach looks like? Anyways. 